I think everybody is impacted in one way or another with somebody with cancer. So I think it's important to keep telling the stories so people can understand that screenings, and I keep going back to that, screenings are important. They called and said, um, the doctor would like to see you. I got to the doctor that afternoon and she walks in and she says, well, how are you today? I remember vividly. And I said, I don't know, you tell me. And she said, we found a tumor on your right breast and it is cancer. And I think immediately I must have blacked out a little bit. I don't wanna die because I wanna see my son graduate from college. I wanna see my daughter graduate from high school, go to college. When I kinda of came to, I was sobbing. My husband was standing in front of me and he said, whatever it is, we're gonna get through this. But I didn't know what the whatever it is was. She explained that there were four types of breast cancer, one being triple negative, and that's what I had, and that was apparently one of the worst ones. I had surgery in March of 2016, a lumpectomy, and they removed the tumor. The surgeon said they got it all, and I didn't still realize the, the journey was going to be so difficult. Chemotherapy began. It just took a toll on me. I got darker, I lost weight, I just, I felt crummy. I thought going through the chemotherapy and the radiation that I didn't look as attractive as I had been. I didn't let my kids see me bald. I was ashamed. One day, I told my husband, get the kids in here. I can't do this anymore. And I remember my son looking at me and grabbing my face, kissing my cheek and the top of my bald head. He says, Mom, you look beautiful. That family connection was everything to me. It was an amazing time to help me understand we need people to survive. And I had that. Wherever I go, I tell my story of breast cancer. I tell my story of how the journey was, how tough it was, how I've survived, and now my mission is to help you survive by getting your screenings, by taking care of yourself. Since I've had breast cancer, I have found in my own community a lot of African-American women who have never had a mammogram, who don't feel it's a need because they have the mindset I had that it doesn't run in my family, so I don't need to do it. It's important if you want to live here. It's our job to help each other. It's my job to help you because I've gone through it. That's my mission.